It's the French Swiss Ski College, founded and headed throughout its history by one man, Jim Cottrell. Well, almost 50 years ago, 49 years ago, I was teaching accounting at Central Piedmont Community College and went and asked them about setting up a physical education class in snow skiing. Uh, they went along, 130 people signed up for it. Within three years, we had 43 colleges offering physical education credit and French Swiss Ski College was born and that's why we're called a ski college. French Swiss got attached to the name because those were the European teaching methods considered by many at the time to be the most advanced. The college has taught over a million persons to ski. We are known as the place to learn to ski and snowboard uh, because that's all we do. We're an independent ski school. 100% of our focus is on teaching people and making this a lifelong skill. But it does have to be continuing education, at least for a period in the beginning. Three times is the magic number. I hear so often, oh, I tried that once. Once is not enough. But three times, you've got a skill for life. And if you take three lessons, it just makes it that much easier and uh, better to do. What an incredible lifetime sport that you can do with your entire family. The French Swiss Ski College is a kind place. Well, it's, it's Southern hospitality. This is, this is where skiing meets sweet tea. <laughs> Even on the busiest Saturdays, top managers interrupt their nonstop duties to help the smallest and least experienced. It's all about the kids and getting them started, having a good time, playing, and probably learning as well. So it goes that way, safety, uh, fun, and learning. And the learning is in a carefully planned progression. We think that first lesson just gives you navigational skills. We get you in balance so that you're not falling down all the time and how to get around the mountain. The second one gets you where you're starting to turn on the, the green or the beginner terrain. That third one gets you up on the intermediate terrain and it opens up the world of skiing. 50% of the skiing in the world is that intermediate terrain and below. It's true, being able to ski intermediate terrain has allowed my family to ski from North Carolina to New England and from the Rockies to the Alps. Now we're trying to get the grandkids taught. What's your favorite part about skiing? Turning. Turning? Yeah, it's so fun. Just wait till you get a few more turns in, you'll be turning down the whole mountain. Above all, don't get in a rush and be late to class. When people come to a ski area for the first time, they don't realize that it there's a process involved. You have to get tickets, you have to rent equipment, get it fitted, get out onto the snow. We, we have this standard saying that you need to allow an hour preparation time. If you'll give yourself an hour to get ready, it takes all the stress out of it and it just makes it so much easier and more pleasant. The earlier you come, the quicker it is. You know, if you sleep late, you wait a little longer. All right, the early bird gets the worm around here and that's when the snow's the best too. <laughs> early in the day and early in life makes the wonders of skiing so much more accessible. Appalachian Ski Mountain is at 940 Ski Mountain Road in Blowing Rock. For more information about the ski school at Appalachian Ski Resort, weather conditions and more, go to appskimtn.com.